Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable the Better Heater Timeout plugin on our EasyPie image. And if you're also using your own OctoPrint build with this plugin, I'd also recommend disabling it too, as there's bugs present that can kill your print if your printer runs out of filament overnight. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The Better Heater Timeout plugin is one we bundled with our EasyPy, and it's also one that you can install on your own OctoPrint system. So if you're using our EasyPy image or you have your own OctoPrint image that's utilizing this plugin, I would highly recommend you disable it until the developer releases a fix for it. What the plugin is supposed to do is turn the heaters off in the event that you preheat the printer and walk away and forget about it. Now this is a very nice feature that I use quite frequently because I'll start a print up, I'll get distracted, and then I come back and oh, it's cooled down. And that's a good thing because one, you're not wasting power heating these heaters that are just doing nothing idling. And two, if you leave your filament in the nozzle and it's heated for an extended period of time, it can actually crystallize and lead to a clog. So this is a nice plug in. The problem is right now it does not work correctly. So I'm gonna show you guys the issues that it's doing and what to look for if you are having this problem. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to disable it. So if we look here, this is a screenshot from my printer that had this problem this morning when I came into my office. And you can see we have all these M117 commands where it says tool timed out, bed timed out. It ends up spamming the console during the entirety of the pause state of the printer while it's waiting for more filament to the point where it overloads Octoprint. The UI in Octoprint actually took about five minutes for this to load. And when I logged in via SSH, the CPU was pegged at 100%. When I went to the printer itself, you can see here, it says bed timed out and these messages would be constantly changing. And you might also see a tool zero timed out as well. So if you're having this issue and you're using this plugin, and if you have our EasyPie image, this plugin is bundled by default. You should disable it until the plugin developer releases an update. To disable the plugin, go ahead and bring up your Octoprint interface and you're gonna go ahead and click the little wrench at the top of the screen. Once the settings window comes up, scroll down on the left and find plugin manager. Once you find plugin manager, just type better and you can see here, better heater timeout. All you have to do to disable the plugin is click this little switch here and then hit restart now. It'll ask you to confirm the restart, hit proceed, and then it's going to restart. At this point now, the plugin is disabled and you don't need to do anything further. Once the developer releases an update, you can go ahead and click the button again to enable the plugin and then download the latest update. So now the plugin is disabled and you don't have to worry about it causing issues with your printer when it goes into a pause state. If the developer does fix the plugin, we'll go ahead and post an announcement on our news page. But until further notice, I would highly recommend disabling it. And we're going to be disabling on all of our EasyPy images that we ship out from this point forward, as well as all of our printers here in my office and our print farm. I did notice that in the issue queue on GitHub for this plugin, there was this issue reported back in July of 2021, and there hasn't been any replies from the developer. So it is also possible that this plugin is abandoned by the original developer. Some of the problems with the open source stuff is you get somebody that starts a project like this or a plugin and they end up getting too busy and they just forget about it and it ends up going unmaintained. So it is possible that if nobody picks up this plugin and it's not maintained anymore that it may no longer work at all with Octoprint unless somebody else takes up the reins and fixes it. So anyways, that's how to disable this plugin so you don't have this issue anymore. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys later. And as always, happy printing.